everybody, it's Haley. Today is another crafting day. It's very exciting. If you've seen my bookshelf tour, then you know that I have a problem with my TBR. As in, I need to read some of the books on my TBR someday. And you know those days where you're, you know, you're, you're sitting around, you can't figure out what you want to read next. There are so many to choose from and you can't choose. Well, I have a solution for you. TBR jar. Very exciting. So, we're gonna make our own TBR jars. <laughs> it's old time. These ones are, I'm not gonna say difficult, they're slightly more time consuming. There's always different things you can do to make them a little bit easier. I went like full on with these guys. So I'll show you the one that, that I used like in the video and the blog tutorial and all that jail. Yes, it's giant, um, because I have a TBR problem. So, we'll show you close up here. Okay, so here's the front. And then I also did a bookshelf on the back. So, these are really fun. I just, this is an old candle jar. Those are very, very straightforward to use. If you have a candle that's sort of run low on wax, you can't really burn it anymore. What you do is you stick the whole thing in the freezer. Mine seem to go better if I let them sit in the freezer for a few days. I don't, you know, you would think a few hours is fine, but honestly a few days I just kind of forget it's in there and then I come back to it. Um, and then you can just sort of pry the remaining wax out of the bottom. You just give it a, a wash to get rid of any little bits and the labeled stickies and all that jazz. and clean, lovely jar. Um, or if you don't feel like doing that with a candle jar, go to your local craft store. They have tons and tons and tons of glass jars that you can use. This is one I've used in the past. It has a fun little cork. So tons of different options when it comes to what kind of jar you want to use. So what I did with these was I actually went to Michael's or you can get it at Hobby Lobby or whatever craft store you have and I actually got glass etching cream and stencil film. I made my own stencils. This one I traced out the the bookshelf design on the back. This is what I think is really fun about these TBR jars. You can make them look however you want or you know if you want to just go get like the, the sticker letters you could do it that way. You really could do however you like, but I did sort of a free form, I'm gonna trace my own stencil onto this. It's moderately time consuming, but I think the result is super, super fun. So yeah, here we go. wasn't too bad, right? Really the most tedious process for me was actually taking the X-Acto knife and cutting out all the letters and shapes. Uh, a couple of notes on that. One, curves are your enemy. Thin lines are terrible. So, yeah. Other good news, I don't need three TBR jars. I actually already have one that I use. So this is mine. Um, obviously not full of all my TBR books, but most of them. So I do my, um, my things in little stars, because I think that's more fun. But, there's mine. 
so I will be giving these three away. Um, I have the, so the, the giveaway will be happening on the blog post again, which I'll post the link down below so that you can go to it, but this one's going to be open internationally. Very excite. So we'll have three winners. We'll each win one of these TBR jars that I've made and yeah, it'll be very exciting. Good luck. Um. Oh. Oh. It's fine. <laughs>